Skin Treatment Tonight with Dame Edna. Little Britain Boys, Matt Lucas and David Williams. Newspaper Bad Boy, Pierce Morgan. And Blondie Boymate, Deborah Harry. She's a gem, she's a gem in my car. She's an angel of light from above. She is poetry in motion. She's a rock in an ocean of love. So give us the Edna treatment. My next outpatient, if I may call her that, has been described as the greatest pop icon of all time. Obviously, no one asked my opinion, but fresh from the Donatella Versace Botox unit in this spa, <laughs> I'd like you to meet the glorious Deborah Harry! <laughs> Sit down. Oh, or Deborah. You. I prefer to call you Deborah. You're lovely. Oh. oh. I'm so happy to oh. be here. <laughs> <laughs> now it's official. <laughs> you look divine. Thank you. When did we last meet, Deborah? How can you forget? I mean, can you forget? Well, I no, think you it haven't was forgotten. in my dressing room. I know. It was that wonderful time in San Francisco. You came to my show? I came to your show. It was... It was uh, you won me over. Did I? I was smitten, yes. You were. Yeah. You had a lovely time. I did. I had a really wonderful was time. Was it one of the best shows you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the best shows I've ever seen and also one of the most original, and I'd never seen a show before that had a barbecue in it. Yes, I used to get the people to come onto the stage piers and I cooked them a lovely ba Australian barbecue. The theatre was filled with the smell of <laughs> combusting chops and sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for those words of praise, which I had to pretty well squeeze out of you then. <laughs> but it makes what I'm about to say to you all the more difficult. You are the most famous, well, artificial blonde. You don't mind me saying that, do you? Well... Is it your... No, is it your natural colour? No, it's no, it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> I happen to know that because no. a friend of mine saw you doing nude cartwheels at a party once. <laughs> You, you say somewhere that you're not happy about your hair in the mornings. Is that so? I don't usually look. I try not to look in the morning. Well... Do you? I, I mean... I, I don't really, but have you got pets? You've got a dog, haven't you? I do have a dog, and the dog used to sleep on my head, mm -hmm. which was uh, <laughs> a little difficult. But she's, she's grown out of that now. David, have you ever woken up with a dog on your face? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be... You, you have to be careful. Don't, you don't kiss it, do you? No. No, don't. actually, you I mustn't, don't. You don't let its warm little tongue flicker between your lips. They try. Dogs. They try, but I go, know. I go like this. <laughs> because you know this, Matt, don't you? Dogs don't have human feelings. They don't peers. I mean... <laughs> They think one end of you is much the same as another. <laughs> they do, and they're not looking lovingly at you, thinking, mm, I must kiss that pretty little mouth. They're wondering why your cheeks are big and round and hairy. That's what they're wondering. <laughs> think about it. Now, <laughs> incidentally, are you pierced? Yes. You are pierced. I'm pierced. Where? Just here in the ears. Tummy? No, Tommy. My daughter has a ring in her navel. Does she? So that if she breaks down, it's easier to tow her away. <laughs> 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 
You worked for Hugh Hefner at some stage? I did, a brief uh, stage, brief moment. And did you ever play Bunnies and Burrows up there at the <laughs> Playboy Mansion? Well, no, I, I, you know, I was a bunny in New York and I never met Hef. And, um, you know, I sort of hopped around the club for a while and I, I worked there and it was uh, very nice. And then I sort of went on into uh, the music business. And then years later, I was invited to the mansion, but I was no longer a bunny. So I didn't have to do the, you know? No. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but you play a lesbian strip club owner in a film called The Fluffer. <laughs> no. Is that true? <laughs> What's a fluffer? What is a fluffer? <laughs> is it a cleaning device of some kind? <laughs> No, it, it's, it's a person who is very, very in, important to the ongoing action in the sex scenes. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever felt like playing nurses and nurses with anybody? I, I have played that. I, I do like it. I like no, it very yeah. much. Well, <laughs> 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 I think we should stop this conversation in its tracks right now. Because Valme is giving you a very strange look after that revelation. And I don't want to repeat what happened to Sigourney Weaver the other day. It was very, very embarrassing. Possums, it's time for an essential comfort stop. Join me after this break when there will be another, and I hope, final little health message from Sir Les Patterson with the handsome David Ginola. been cherishing my chats tonight with Matt Lucas, David Walliams and Piers Morgan and the foxy, adorable little Deborah Harry. Now, on to more tasteful and savoury matters now. I feel a duet coming on. <laughs> Yeah. 